This is my and Kona's version of a self-care vlog. Don't worry, there's lots of good stuff in here. <laughs> Look at the river. Can't wait to go kayaking. So I'm doing it in the valley where everybody can enjoy it. This is lately where Kona likes to sit, right by my window. Konila! It's very dreary outside today, and it rained yesterday, which is why I took the chance of opening my window this morning, because everything's wet. No need to worry about dust. It was also, it was also supposed to rain today, but nothing yet, nothing yet. Maybe it will eventually, we'll see. Good morning. Oh. I don't know what that was. <laughs> and welcome back to another video. This is the devotional that I use. I have talked about it multiple times, but if you don't know, it's the New Morning Mercies by Paul David Tripp. It's one of my favorites. I've had it for about three years now, and I always learn something new. I keep on, I keep on learning from this one. And then my Bible. I love to stick sticky notes in it, but then I sometimes think, well, why sticky notes? Technically. The Bible is so full of good things that I could that I feel like I could stick in out the whole Bible, you know. But these were the specific ones that really spoke to me, which is why I felt the need to bookmark them. Every good and perfect gift is from above, so look up and give thanks. I want to work on dresses. We got a few dresses. Oh my goodness, I don't even know when we got them. Was it late last year or early this year? Anyways, whenever we got them, um, they're cotton dresses and I haven't gotten around to wearing them. Uh huh, wearing them, they're not made yet. I haven't gotten around to making them yet. So this is what I wanna do. This is what we're gonna start with. We're gonna cut the skirts all through at once. But let's get, let's get to cutting. This one's mine.
shake bag well before using partially shaded location mm, that one's ideal oh boy I'm gonna have to be here on the daily because it says keep bed keep what bed not bed yeah keep seed bed moist until seedlings are well established <laughs> it's an hour walk not that I mind it'll do me good but this is not the only place I'm planning on planting some. I've never done this before so hopefully I did it right it's difficult finding a spot where that you can work with I mean the Grund is nicht das Beste so wherever I find a space I plant it a few I just don't want it in my garden because a lot of ladies told me that they're the type of flowers that um, tend to overtake your garden if you do plant them and I don't want that to happen so I'm doing it in the valley where everybody can enjoy it hopefully it'll work another wood take oh I did not miss you guys definitely did not miss the wood ticks we left home at 1 30 we've been all over the place and it's currently 3:23. it's done me good because of the fact that you know I removed my wisdom teeth last week so the entire week I was at home and it was tough let me just say I wanted to go outside let's continue with that I have a few more I have a few more here and I also have I think I can find a third space but I have another space back there that I want to where I want to plant some that was the last one I planted them all by the river so that it's easier for me to bike down every day and Look at them, water them, take care of them. So yeah, we're done. And now I'm gonna go home, because I'm hungry. I figured I would leave the biking for another day because I did walk quite far today but I literally cannot help myself. I am so excited to get back on a bike. I just cannot help myself. And now I might go biking. Not far though, not far, but still I'm gonna go biking. <laughs> This is a tip for ferns. You do one cup of water to one tablespoon Epsom salts about once a month and we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it revives this poor thing. I talked about it in a, in a vlog a while ago but I, can, I just don't have the heart to chop them off. I just don't. It's so hard.
quickly had to turn on the light to show you the rug because it's kind of um dreary outside it's been sprinkling on and off but that's about it but this is it this is the rug i the pattern i think is bigger but i didn't want it any bigger because i don't have any floor space around here i have everything full of plants yeah i'm happy with it i absolutely love it i love the colors it works perfect in my bedroom What a nice way to spend a Saturday morning.